Now, hello again. Dak on the clock with more uh, Mario's Treasure Hunt 2 by Mal7. We just beat World 5, and now we are going on the flight to World 6. And we got two exits to deal with. In the Garden Tunnel. So let's see what we got here. Got some calm music. We got some uh, plants that can support our weight somehow. And I also powered up before I came into this world, so I don't need to grab that potion at the moment. And, okay, you're just uh, a spike of some sort. Well, I guess now I've got reason to go get this. Always nice to have some things in reserve. And floating platforms and giant carrots. Yeah, Bugs Bunny's fever dream, dream here. Uh, you appear to be some sort of Goomba. Except you're all covered in vines. Hmm, did I just step on a Tangela? It's a shiny one if it is. This rather giant flower here, and that does not appear to have any significance of any note. I kind of want to destroy you, Piranha Plant, because you're kind of in the way. These blue box are not in the way. They are, in fact, very much helpful to be where they are. I like how they kind of start you off right on one of those leaves. And I thought I could climb that. As I was saying, I like how they start you off right on one of those leaves so that you know you can stand on them. Is that a springboard there? That was a springboard there. And that's a key. And there's the keyhole. So we got the secret exit without even <laughs> really looking for it. Oh, that happens to me a fair amount lately. Oh, a little car appeared there. Crisscross. I think we're going to be coming around back up there, perhaps. So, or... We are back here, and I just t completely missed <laughs> both plants with that uh, attempt at kicking men into men, or women to women, as the case may be. I don't know if our pl piranha plants are male or female. Tanglas can be either one. Um, there is no reason they're not allowed to be. I probably could have left that for later use if necessary, but uh, thinking forwardly, not always my strongest suit. And why are you even there? Are you, are you just sentries? Are you just there to guard place this place from evil interlopers or myself? Um, I refuse to consider myself an evil interloper. Um, I may be evil, but I'm not an interloper. If anything, I am an outer loper. That was a, kind of a scary jump there. Pretty much the only one in the game. Or, in the stage. Uh, yeah, not the only one in the game. Rest assured. So actually, I'm thinking that we might not actually be meeting up there, but at the uh, mid-boss stage there. Uh, so, life 
on the rails. I think I kind of want to do a crisscross first, to be perfectly honest. Alright. <laughs> so let's get going. Hmm. So this has two exits, and for one of them, we're going to need a P-switch. Oh, this looks like it could be some sort of puzzle-type um, mechanism here. Well, so far, nothing except giant flails to get in the way. I shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway. Ah, so here is a springboard. Uh, no doubt this is going to be used for some nefarious purpose. Well, to start, we can get up here. But to get in there, we need some sort of physically imposing object. All that really gets us is a second springboard. So where might we need two such objects of valor? Well, this is... This will require one, so perhaps there will be some ascent upwards, you know? Hmm. Because at the current moment, I have no need for a doubling of a specific height. Okay, I, I get it now. These are telling me what I'm going to be seeing in the uh, individual rooms here. So this is going to be a room of uh, bandsaws. I seriously am just kind of, <laughs> just kind of, um, happening on these secret exits here. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Okay, let's do this, the, uh, let's still do the regular thing. <laughs> oh, boy. That's like... <sighs> Some games, they make you look for the secret exit. Some games... They just kind of have it so the best, the easiest way to find them is just to kind of randomly do things that you don't really expect to do anything, but end up doing it anyway. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so. We now can continue forth, and now let's try to go forward only this time. We'll leave behind the treasure, just so that we don't accidentally trigger ourselves our extra... Whoa! Extra... Um, this is not worth it. These saws, I do not know why they are, uh, why they are here, but <coughs> it is clear they have some purpose, that is... Probably just to cut things down. Definitely to cut Mario down to size. And this block will get us this, uh... Anticipation. Thwomps. Please do not be a problem, Thwomps. Oh. You're just gonna come to the side. Inside and outside and everywhere in between and... Am I safe down here? Well, no, but... Uh, there's at least flooring. And 
that's the midpoint, which means we don't have to come back and do the whole, all the whole crisscrossies. We just have to do the uh, Bowser statue one. I see. So this is a uh, bounce on things that are potentially harmful type area. Whoa. Yeah, that's not worth it. Whoa. Please get out of the way. With good timing. And that I really should have taken a hit there. I am very exceptionally fortunate that I did not. <laughs> Seems like a rather lopsided midpoint if this is the boss door. So maybe it's not the boss door. Nope. Or, well, it's the prelude to the boss door, perhaps. Oh, it's... Crystalline... Devastation. Whoa. Okay, I just need a blue shell. Maybe you'll do the job for me? I guess not. And destroy the shell to complete the uh, kill room. Those, that is a, uh, that was a kind of a dangerous one. On the other hand, it wasn't like the one in, I believe, Mario's Treasure Hunt 1 that was just kind of... Bleh. Spooky night. Well, I'm going to have to go there eventually, but first let's complete the uh, love triangle here with life on the rails. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be a uh, minecart level? It's not. My fears were unfounded. It's a train level with moles that kind of just come out of <coughs> nowhere. Whoa! Goomba. You're kind of taking the role of the hammer brother here. And we have some uh, more of the uh, uh, odd type of background scrolling that kind of just goes right at your speed sometimes, so it looks kind of weird when compared to everything else. Uh, I do not know how to deal with these guys properly. Chuck. I have no need for you. Oh! It was a trap! Well, let's just not bother. Okay, you are a six chucker. Maybe a mole up here. <laughs> Maybe more than one. <laughs> My predictive ability uh, occasionally does serve me well. Also, this is kind of very uh, strange music. Oof. <laughs> I cut that one kind of close. Good point! Somehow survived without taking a death. That's. A little bit of redundancy, I think. Can you not? Su can you survive with taking a death? I mean, unless you're. Well, I guess in s certain games that's a possibility. Uh, it'd be nice if my jump button responded. That's all right. Got lots of lives. Plus, 
I am enjoying this level simply by virtue of the fact that it did not meet my worst expectations. Okay. This time, got where we wanted to go. And I really am just taking the uh, coal bin slowly because there's plenty of danger of moles that are kind of very difficult to see. just kind of went a little bit too slow. Holy moly. Um, can't presume. Yes, I jumped like that. And get onto the locomotive. Which is always, you know, almost always the destination on train levels. That's, I, why is the caboose never the destination? And I think that's all for me for now. We'll pick this up next time. Till then, this is Doc. I'll see you.